Welcome to Aurora Chemistry for everyone. Let us see how to write resonance structure for sulfur trioxide SO3 by using the given steps. Okay. To write the resonating structure, see the first step, draw skeletal structure. Step 2, while drawing the skeletal structure, center should be less electronegative atom. So in SO3, in SO3 if you see sulfur is less electronegative so let us draw the sulfur in the center then oxygen we draw just around sulfur then look at the third step count valence electrons so we go to count valence electrons sulfur the number of valence electron in sulfur is 6 but here we have only one sulfur so 1 into 6 plus how many oxygen is here see 3 oxygen so 3 into for oxygen also valence electron 6 so we will get total 24 valence electrons now come to step 4 single bond between all the atoms so we go to draw single bond between all the atoms now step 5 double or triple bond for central atom See now we go to draw double or triple bond. Why we are going to put the double or triple bond means to make the octet configurations because the compound um, atoms in octet configuration is stable. So that is why we go to put around the double or triple bond to make that octet configuration. So how do we know that whether this sulfur will get double or triple bond? For that say look at this sulfur valence electron six, isn't it? So one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sulfur is in third period. So after third period, elements can form, uh, they can, they have that uh, d orbitals. So they can expand. So now sulfur can make 6 covalent bonds. So let us uh, uh, try to make that 6 bonds in sulfur trioxide already three bonds are here so let us draw three more bonds one two three okay so next come to step six octet for highly electronegative atom here oxygen is highly electronegative atom already see if you look at this oxygen there are two bonds double bond double bond is here a single bond is formed by two electrons so here double bond so four electrons so to make it octet configuration it this oxygen needs four electrons so let us draw four electrons same way for all other oxygen also let us draw four electrons now duplet for hydrogen but here hydrogen is not here let us check that 24 valence electrons are present or not so two four six eight 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So 24 valence electrons are here. So this is the one resonant structure for sulfur trioxide. If you see that sulfur, it is more than octet. But see, except expanded sulfur, phosphorus, chlorine, bromine, iodine. It means expanded means it can get, it can have 8 or more than 8. So this is the First of one resonating structure. Let us try to draw that other resonating structures for sulfur. So with six covalent bonds we tried. Now let us try for five covalent bonds. So to bring that five covalent bonds, what should we need to do? We should remove one bond, isn't it? So let us try. Let us use that same thing now. Sulfur in the center. Let us keep this uh, this sulfur oxygen single bond, but here remaining all we will draw such only. Then here also the same way. So to make this oxygen now octet two four six already here two so eight is over. Let us check with that twenty four valence electron two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen. 20, 22, 24. So 24 valence electron is there. So this is the second resonating structure for sulfur trioxide. 
Now same, the same way we can make that uh, this double bond we can make it into single bond, isn't it? So use that. Uh, looking at this, the first one only. Let us do sulfur. So this sulfur oxygen we go to make it into the top one. We go to make it into a single bond. Remaining all, look at that. Uh, write uh, same thing only, the same way. Now see to make it octet two four. 6, 8. So, octet is completed. 24 valence electrons we will check. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So, 24 valence electrons are here. So, this also correct. This is the third resonating structure. The same way now we can make that for this oxygen also. Single bond this. So, let us draw sulfur here single bond now remaining all in the same way we go to write double bond then oxygen octet over see now uh, to make this terminal octet configuration let us check that uh, 24 valence electron 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 so here also it is over uh, now see uh, with five bonds we have made it so, okay this is the fourth resonating structure any other things are possible no isn't it so let us move to four bonds let us try to four bonds so if you want to make that four bonds means what is the possibility we can do now we can give only for one sulfur oxygen double double bond remaining uh, sulfur oxygen we can give single bond so use the same thing sulfur let us keep that for this terminal atom now double bond so double bond remaining all we go to give now single bond so octet over here also here also octet over here also octet over how many bonds four bonds are here so let us check that 24 valence electrons 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 so this is also correct this is fifth resonating structure now we go to write the sixth resonating structure is it possible the same way we can make it for the top you know, oxygen also double bond is nature so sulfur let me single let me make that double bond here here all now single bond so let us draw electrons to here check that now uh, Valence electrons 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So 24 valence electrons are here. See sulfur also 2, 4, 6, 8 octet configuration. Uh, sulfur can have 8 or more than 8. Sixth resonating structure. Now let us try the seventh resonating structure. Now for this terminal oxygen atom, we will give double bond. So look at this draw sulfur then here also single bond here also single bond now here we go to draw double bond two four students are placed uh, i think you can see it very clearly single bond now see 24 valence electrons let us check two four six eight ten twelve fourteen then here sixteen sorry two four six 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So, 24 valence electrons are here. So, 7. This is 7th resonating structure for sulfur trioxide. So, now let us move to 3 bonds. Let us try with the 3 bonds. So, sulfur, oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. So, this is what maximum we can, with the 3 bonds we can make. So, for terminal atom, for a highly electronegative atom, we will give that octet configuration. Let us do like that. Okay. Now, uh, let us check that 24 valence electrons are present or not. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Yes, 24 valence electrons are here. But look at that sulfur. 2, 4, 6. Its octet is not satisfied. I already um, uh, seen this uh, expanded sulfur that means sulfur 
can take 8 or more than 8 but here sulfur octet configuration is not satisfied so this structure is not correct so totally sulfur trioxide can make 7 resonating structures thanks for watching